next write down the compounds of ammonia sorry the compounds of nitrogen the compounds of nitrogen the first compound is ammonia ns3 write down it is the most important hydrides of nitrogen and it can be prepared by the following method most important hydrides of nitrogen and can be prepared by following method the first method we have when ammonium salt ammonium salt is heated with caustic soda heated with caustic soda or slaked lime slaked lime all these are reactions okay so you see the reaction is ammonium salt means what we have nh4cl is the ammonium salt heated with caustic soda caustic soda we can take oxidative lime anyone we can take naoh coh whole twice it gives nh3 plus nacl plus h2 this is the product we get similarly when this is heated with caoh whole twice again we'll get cacl2 nh3 forms and we'll get h2 okay this reaction like ammonia can also be prepared by urea with the help of urea the second one you write down urea also forms ammonia when treated with caustic soda so urea is nh2 co nh2 when treated with caustic soda that is naoh it forms nh3 two molecules of it plus na2 co3 sodium carbonate right so with the help of urea with the help of ammonium salt okay two methods we have done the third one is the very common that is haber's process haber's process industrial method of preparation is this the first method we use for the preparation or production in small scale this is for the small scale production the first one not important just i'll write down small scale production okay haber's process is used for industry it is the industrial method actually and in this process the nitrogen is obtained by the reaction of n2 with h2 it is a reversible reaction in presence of iron as a catalyst okay around 500 degrees celsius forms two molecules of ns3 this reaction is an exothermic reaction delta h is less than 0 for this reaction okay property write down it is a colorless gas lighter than air colorless gas lighter than air and pungent smell it is highly soluble in water and why so hydrogen bonding highly soluble in water since it can form hydrogen bonding okay the boiling point and melting point of ammonia right on the next line the boiling point and melting 
point of ammonia is more than is more than to the other hydrides belongs to the same group other hydride belong to the same group the reason is again same hydrogen bonding it also behaves as a lewis acid right don't present so behaves as a lewis acid so we all uh, know all these things there is nothing new into this but there are some reactions which are important and which probably we haven't done yet so reactions of ns3 and this reactions based question they ask in the exam like for example suppose if i am taking excess of ns3 and it reacts with chlorine cl2 here this ammonia is excess reacts with cl2 then it forms nitrogen with nh4 cl this is one reaction but in the same reaction if you take chlorine as excess and as 3 plus cl2 this question they have asked many times in the exam if they ask i have they asked this if chlorine is excess then it forms nitrogen trichloride and cl3 plus hcl you must remember that the difference between the two reaction reaction of aqueous ammonia we also see suppose we have pedichloride fecl3 plus nh4oh aqueous ammonia this gives feoh whole thrice plus the salt of ammonia that is nh4cl okay this is the reaction we have similarly if you have alcl3 similar kind of reaction we have metal chloride with aqueous ammonia aqueous ammonia is nh4oh only and this 3 plus water gives nh4oh this gives aloh whole thrice plus nh4cl in the the reaction here next write down it forms a white precipitate it forms a white precipitate with mercuric chloride aqueous ammonia forms a white precipitate with mercuric chloride and a gray precipitate with mercurous chloride white with mercuric gray with mercurous reaction you see hgcl2 mercuric chloride plus aqueous ammonia NH4OH. This gives HG plus HGNH2Cl. Wait just a second. This HG won't be there. We'll get HGNH2Cl plus NH4Cl. Right. NH4Cl plus H2. Two molecules of H2. This is amido mercuric chloride. This compound is amido mercuric chloride. The color is white precipitate. Okay. But when you take mercurous chloride, that is Hg2Cl2. Plus NH4OH. This gives you a mixture of, of mercury and amido mercury chloride, NH2Cl plus NH4Cl plus 2H2O. So this mixture it gives gray precipitate. Okay, we can also prepare urea from ammonia. Okay, so write down one point here. 
Ammonia reacts with carbon dioxide. Ammonia reacts with carbon dioxide and forms ammonium carbamate. And forms ammonium carbamate, which decomposes to give urea, which decomposes to give urea. The two molecules of NH3 reacts with CO2. It gives first ammonium carbamate COONH4. And this H2O molecules comes out and it converts into NH2CO, NH2 that is urea. This compound is ammonium carbamate. Ammonium carbamate. Okay, so ammonia we have discussed, reaction also we have seen. Then we'll see the next thing here, that is oxides of nitrogen. Oxides of nitrogen. Nitrogen, like we know, it forms a number of oxides. Okay, so first one, we are going to discuss here is dinitrogen oxides. Dinitrogen oxides. We also call it as nitrous oxide. The structure is N2O, and this we also call it as. laughing gas. What is the oxidation number of nitrogen here? Oxidation number of nitrogen plus one. Okay, minus two plus one plus two. Okay. It is prepared by it is prepared by heating ammonium nitrate Heating ammonium nitrate. Okay, so NH4 NO3. If you heat this, you'll get N2O plus two molecules of H2. Okay, nitrous oxide. Okay, now this NH4 NO3 we can prepare by the reaction of sodium nitrate that is NaNO3 and it's react it reacts with ammonium sulfate which is NH4 2 SO4 the product we get here two molecules of NH4 NO3 plus we'll get Na2SO4 Na2SO4 now when you heat this also so you'll end up getting nitrous oxide. Okay. Now, some properties of N2O you write down next. The first one, it is a colorless and testless gas. Colorless and testless. The second one, it is soluble in cold water. It is important. This one is important. Okay. Put a star mark over there. Soluble in cold water, cold water, but insoluble in, in hot water. Insoluble in hot water. 
third one it it gets contaminated with it gets not the third one in the same line you write down next it gets contaminated with nitric oxide that is no in bracket you write down ammonia and water vapor at high temperature it gets contaminated with nitric oxide ammonia and water vapor so we'll have a layer of nitric oxide that's why it does not react okay so next line in this you write down to remove nitric oxide we use ferrous sulfate solution to use nitric oxide we use ferrous sulfate solution and to remove ammonia and water vapor we use concentrated h2so4 they have asked this question both information is important to remove ammonia and water vapor we use concentrated h2so4 okay now the last thing in this what is the structure of n2o what is the structure of n2o n2o is structure you can draw this dot structure okay and it is when you draw the structure you'll get n double bond n double bond o where here we have the positive charge on nitrogen and here we have the negative charge with two lone pair on this nitrogen and oxygen has two lone pair on it and it's a resonating structure if you draw this comes over here so we'll get n triple bond n single bond o oxygen we have three lone pair negative charge and this will have the positive charge so this is the resonating structure okay structures also sometimes they ask in exam 